Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I would like to start our program today uh, by acknowledging that we are gathering on the traditional and unceded territories of the Coast Salish people, particularly the nations of Musqueam, Squamish, Stolo, and Slail Watuth nations. With saying that, I welcome you to the seventh West Coast Tagore Festival. The first day of the festival is today, and this is the poetry evening. I would like to invite Barney Sliver now to officially welcome you all on behalf of Vancouver Tagore Society. You know everybody, you know uh, Bernice, you all know her. Uh, she is, uh, among many things, she is also the Vice President of Vancouver Tagore Society. Please welcome Bernice Lever. Well, we'll hope the rest of the people are going to be able to find where to park for this theater. Anyways. As Duke said, welcome to the seventh annual West Coast Tagore Festival. It's my honor to greet so many cheerful, expectant faces for our opening evening with its poetry for focus. For over 100 years, it's been Tagore's wise and beautiful words that have initially attracted Western people to want to learn more about this Nobel Literary Prize winner. Tonight, poetry and music will let us blend our emotions and beliefs in shared enjoyment. Tagore's life is a prime example of how to create peacefulness. My only regret tonight is that our founder, Lee Tan, is not well enough to take part on the stage. I remember his fine talk about how his father, when he was still a, a young child, probably ready to start grade one, <coughs> that his father, Tan Yun Shun, had worked with Rabinavith Tagore to create more cooperation and appreciation of their two homelands, India and China. First as the, Inno, sorry, first as the Sino Indian Cultural Society. And that was the first of their uh, work together and they set up uh, many, many different aspects of sharing uh, their knowledge and, and uh, artifacts that they had achieved over thousands of years in Asia. And they knew how to work together in peace for prosperity for all Asia. And we can always learn more about each other and enjoy our time together. Now, of course, I'll thank our sponsors. Our festival is funded by cultural project grants from the City of Richmond Hill, the BC Arts Council, and the Richmond Gateway Theater Society Endowment Fund, for which we're very pleased. And uh, as you know, and I'll misquote as usual, it takes a village to run a festival. And so we also wish to acknowledge our gratitude to the many individual donors, including the many volunteers as special audio and video workers involved. And we have to thank uh, as well all the supportive community, arts, culture, literary, and media, media partners. There are many people involved in running an international festival. And then we also take time to give grateful notice to the many performers, and there'll be a variety of them here this evening, musicians, singers, poets, and Sanatu Mitra with his informative presentation. I mean, they all donate their time and talent and energy to entertain us, and we're the lucky ones. Thank you, welcome. <laughs> 